All right, welcome back to Eastward, everybody. This is the second video in my Eastward Let's Play series, and in the last episode, we defeated a bunch of slugs in the underground. And apparently, right now, John's frying pan that he had used as a weapon in the last episode is kind of broken, and we need to head to Sunnyside Ranch in order to fix it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Yeah. So I just realized that. Oh, what happened here? Stop right there. The mayor's taking his rest. Oh, okay, this is the mayor's home, apparently. Is there anything here? Nothing? Okay. Uh, so we need to go to Sunnyside Ranch in order to fix John's frying pan. I'll just try to find my way there. But I just realized that last episode, I didn't really explain the lore behind this game. Uh, I just explained the, the lore uh, really quickly because, personally, I'm, I still don't know much about this game. Uh, but... Yeah, this is like a dystopian world where some chemical compound is destroying the world above. So right now, humanity is living underground. And John, which is the man that I'm playing as over here, uh, found this little girl named Sam uh, in a tube or something. And she was asleep. So John woke her up and now we're living together. I don't know. Uh, Mason's artistic prowess will take uh, the words right out of your mouth, as well his um, humor. Hmm. Oh, this is the person we need to talk to. There's a exclamation point right there. There ain't nothing in this world I can't fix. Name is Mason. Mason the fixer. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, this man <laughs> is the same one a right brave bunch of girls once used as a weapon. It can be used to surf right too, of course. Oh my goodness. He went Super Saiyan. Alright, he's gonna fix our pan. So apparently your weapons can kind of wither down in this game. You have to con consistently or constantly fix them and make sure they're in good shape in order to prevail in combat, I guess. Oh, what are we supposed to do? The frying pan's fixed already, that's great. Get the droop into the loop. Droop loops. So it's like a little mini game, I guess. Okay, it's a test of strength. Oh, you can hold to unleash a powerful attack. I see. Okay, you gotta aim. Okay. Like that? Okay. That's cool. I like the combat. It seems pretty fluid in my opinion. Nothing extremely special, but it's it's all right. What you're holding can be used for more than just talking tugs. Heads off. It can make a mighty fine dinner to boot. Of course, dinner. Let's go home and make dinner, John. I'm starving. Right. So in the last episode, uh, we played this little video game inside of Eastward. It's called uh, Earthborn, and it's a very tongue-in-cheek uh, parody or. Um, Easter egg to Earthbound, which is, uh, I'm guessing, uh, is a huge inspiration for this game. And we were fighting the final boss, or a big boss in the game, named the Demon King, and we lost because we are severely underleveled. But I mean, like, that's part of the story. Like, I think we are supposed to lose the first time we fight Demon King, and I guess the story will kind of progress and we will eventually beat the Demon King. Um, there's a fridge here, which I think can be used as a save point. Refrigerate your memories. But when you take them out again, will the new you really be you? Save your memories? Yeah, save. This is really cool. I think this is a really cool concept. How you're like, when you save the game, you're actually saving your memories. So when you play the game and uh, 
didn't save and you close the game, it's like your memory's lost and like it never happened in the timeline of the game. I think that's a really cool gimmick. It's not really a gimmick, that's a concept, right? All right, I guess we should start making dinner. All right, uh, we got a hot dog. That's good, but uh, we have to eat sand roops. Start cooking. Oh, this is really cool. It's like a little jackpot mini game. Oh, this is really cute. And we got Sandro Pasta. I don't think we put pasta in our uh, frying pan, but all right. Sandro Pasta it is. I'm guessing sand droops are kind of like tomatoes in this game, so Sandro Pasta is just tomato. We haven't actually explored much about the story or the plot of the game yet. I mean, like, we fought some slugs, we were introduced to a couple of characters, we were introduced to this very mean and douchey mayor. Coming up for air. Ooh, that's really cool. I guess the story in this game is kind of like Undertale, where you're, like, stuck, um, in the, like, underneath the surface, and you're trying to climb your way back up. Kind of reminds me of Undertale. Kind of reminds me of Hades as well. Are you trying to escape Tartarus? Hurry, John. Today I, I get to go to school with Kuroda and the others. Right. So, I'm not sure what's wrong with Sam, but Sam hasn't been attending school. He, she's been um, going with John to work. Because John is a digger. In a local dig site. A uh, pot crock aisle hourly alert. Oh, what's going on? Sounds like an emergency. But yeah, this is Sam's first day of school. Which is really good. I think education is very important. Um, which way is school? I'm not entirely sure. No talking. That's the school. Going brat. It looks like a prison rather than a school. You there, stop right there. I'm new here, today's my first day. Your first day at my school? And who, may I ask, said you could attend my school? Um, yesterday, silence. Those without a reference letter aren't allowed in my school. So we need a reference letter? From the mayor. Well, that's weird because yesterday the mayor actually told Sam to go to school. Oh, look at the lighting in this game. I really like the lighting in this game. I'm actually uh, in the process of making my own video game. Uh, it's it's also an indie game, and it's uh it's heavily inspired by this game, as well as Octopath Traveler. So it's like a 2D sprite in a 3D world. And I realized that my game looks like crap. And the reason it looks like crap is because the lighting is crap. And then I learned uh, to add a little bit of lighting to my uh, scenes and to my game world and it looked so much better so yeah uh, video game lighting is actually very very crucial I mean like I knew that but it's just a weird revelation that I had when making a game because I'm studying computer science right now and uh, the one thing that I really really want to do is to make my own video game I want my video game to look like this, but this is just... I can't make anything that looks like this. This is beautiful. Um, how did you two get in? So this is the mayor's home. We just broke in the mayor's home. 
School? When did I ever say anything about going to school? Yesterday, at the dick site. A derelict child like you has no place in school. You must be mistaken. You wanted to see us, Mr. Mayor? Oh, those are our fellow digger friends. Oh, well, Sammy, what are you still doing here? Shouldn't you, shouldn't you be at school? Don't tell me. You're playing hooky, aren't you? Didn't you promise you were going to listen to your teacher? Ain't no good to be breaking promises now. Truer words have never been spoken, my man. Those who break their word are sent hot skipping straight to Old Sharon. Ain't that right, Mr. Mayor? I, it's really hard for me to imitate like the way these guys speak. I mean, they're speaking in like in a very specific accent. I'm not entirely sure what the accent is called. Is it like Western? Or like Southern accent? I can't imitate that. Or at least if I try to imitate that, it's going to be really cringy. And it's going to severely affect um, the quality of this video. Obtained Mayor's reference letter. That's very good. Now we can go to school. I'm guessing there's not much people in this uh, world. Because, I mean, if you need a reference letter from the mayor to go to school, I'm guessing that there's not very much children that exist in this, I don't know, underground town. Alright, so we got a reference letter, which is amazing. Now we can go to school. Ha, what a loser, just like your old man. Ooh, kids getting bullied. And the principal's just standing there, just chilling. Kind of accurate to real life. Uh, if you don't want to be a loser, you'll go to the surface. Just like your crazy dad. Ooh. So going to the surface is like a... What do you call it? Like a taboo thing? Kind of reminds me of the movie Snowpiercer, where like everyone is stuck in a train and going out of the train is like um, seen as something rebellious almost. Is a kid John picked up from the street. No one wants her. What a weirdo. Alright, tough day. And look at that hair. Why is it all white? Just like an old hag. You shouldn't bully people. Dang. Wise words. Just don't bully people. Yeah, and what you're gonna do about it, huh? Grandest uncle is the mayor. The mayor. Don't tell me you wanna go to the surface in this place, do you? In his place, do you? Maybe I do. Ooh. Right, so I think Sam actually has this weird mystical superpower. In fact, it's beautiful there. Clear blue skies, green grass. Who are you? You'll find out one day. Go now, your destiny awaits. Ooh, what's going on? Who do you think you are, huh, talking to me like that? You're nothing but a street rat. Street rat. Hey, listen up, Grand. Grand is just talking to you. What do you say? Hmph, whatever. Let's get out of here. Shouldn't this shouldn't these kids be in school as well? Should we talk to this kid? Feel bad for him. You, you're not scared of them? No. They're just pricks who are probably um, insecure about something themselves. I thought I told you. With a reference letter, you can't. One reference letter as requested. Hmm. Not sure how you got this, but I suppose it'll do. You'd better be smart, young lady, and don't cause me any trouble. Yeah, I'm going to school, John. Oh, that's really sweet. Alright, and now what do we do? Those three, th they're terrifying. Well, I guess so. A fight? Oh, you mean the mayor's niece. That girl's as sharp as a tack, you know? Best student in the school. It must be that other child's fault. William's son. I'm sure of it. Okay, so crappy teacher. Who's kind of blinded by nepotism. And apparently, um, Sam's ghost thing told us that it's our destiny, or it's John's destiny to go to the surface. 
Um, this guy looks like Colonel Sanders. Let's, let's talk to him. Wandering about again, are we, John? His name is Miruku Miyazaki. Oh, wow. You may as well go to the ranch if you have nothing to do. Miyazaki, just like the Ghibli guy. Wait, this is not the ranch. Let's go to the ranch and hopefully we can find something to do. So yeah, the music in this game has been really good in my opinion. Haven't heard much of it obviously since this is just my second time playing. But from what I've heard, it's pretty good. That crazy that crazy about work, huh? How about it then? Try your hand at some good old fashioned ranch work. Sure, I got nothing better to do. Well look what we have here, a new face. Welcome to the Sunnyside Ranch. Pretty hot here, don't you think? That's cause this is that's cause this here farms right next to the ancient ruins. People say they're full of blister and hot steam. Youch. Next to the ancient ruins. Hot crabs. They look kinda adorable, I think. And we plant seeds for sand droops inside their pots. Oh that's that, that's really cool. That's a really cool concept. I really like looking at like weird animal concepts like this. Like I like looking at fake mons, which which is like fake Pokemons. It's just really cool how people can create really unique and creative creatures that doesn't exist in real life. Okay, ooh, there. What happened to the pot crabs? Um, well, probably best you don't know. Oh, okay, that's not vegan. Okay, we're supposed to hit these, what are these, sand droops? Into the pit. Which is not too hard, and these little crabs are kind of blocking our way. Alright. Wonderful. Okay. That was a terrible shot. Oh, that was super close. Let's hit this one real quick. Come on. Wait, we missed. My gosh. That's embarrassing. Okay, okay, we can do this. This is actually pretty fun. It's a really fun mini game. 70. Not the best, but all right. Don't let it get you down. You did pretty good for a newbie, you know? Ah, uh, non-toxic gamer. I like that. I respect that. So we did some ranch work. And back to Sam. Kuroda. Are you talking about big eyes? His dad is an infamous fantasist, you know? I heard it from my mom. He claimed he'd been to the surface. Uh, he want everyone to move there with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone here is kind of like brainwashed. Right? Also reminds me of Attack on Titan. Like they're stuck inside of walls. And people who want to go out are kind of seen as like weird. And what, what do you want to go out the walls? But then, you know, our main characters are like, Oh, we want to go outside the walls because we don't like being trapped. I want to be free. And whatever. Kind of seeing very similar themes in this game. But from uh, the story synopsis that I heard from IGN, so apparently there's like this toxic um, substance that exists in the surface that makes the surface unlivable. Or maybe that's not true. And it's a lie being um, told by the government in order to keep the people here for some reason. I'm kind of putting on a tinfoil hat there, but... 
you know, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Let's go into school. Let's see what's up. Pot Croc School. This school is called it's called Pot Croc School. And those are the kids again. You again, huh? Whatever. He's one of those unwanted. Whatever. He's the one who wanted to go in there. Let's go. John, what are you doing here? Doesn't matter, we've got to help Daniel. You're serious? You're actually going in there? They say a fire-breathing iron dragon lives beneath here. Fire-breathing dragon? Sounds like a lie, almost. What is this? Why is there something glowing in it? Oh, this is the underground tunnel. Okay, we got our frying pan out, which means that there might be evil creatures somewhere. I'm guessing we have to... Okay, that can hurt us. Let's time this cor correctly. Okay. Slimes. Sorry, slugs. Keep calling them slimes. And that's... What is that? Snake plant thing? Ah, okay. Oh, yep. The snake thingy respawn respawns. Okay, this should be good. Go in here. Wonder when we can get new weapons. Hmm. Okay. Oops. Didn't see that slime over there. Ooh, what is this? Hard orb. Collect three in order to increase our heart. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Um, there's some stairs that goes down here. Okay, and then we can turn this off. Very nice. Ooh. Come on, give us a heart. We need some hearts. I mean, oh, that's really cool. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. Like the way you can beat up here. There, that's like physics. There's like actual game physics. That's so cool. I'm like, it's a it's a pixel game. A okay, we died. Sorry. I mean, like, it's a, it's a top-down pixel game, but it has like really cool physics. Okay, first death. It's bound to happen anyways. Alright, let's do this again. Um... Okay, we gotta get the heart orb thing. Oh my gosh. We got one and a half health left. Oh, that's good. If you find a hard orb, collect three more to increase your health. So we need four in total to increase our health. And we gotta get rid of this one. Are we okay? We're close enough. And then we turn off that I don't know poison gas thing. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to be here. Okay, some heart, please. Okay, no. We're not getting any hearts. We need to. Is this gonna. 
Can we put this put the rock there? No, we can't. I thought the rock might be able to block um, the airstream. Got rid of that snake thingy. And ooh, double kill. Okay, we can push this over here instead. Okay, that's very, very good. So this is the first time I'm experiencing the puzzle aspect of this game. Uh, maybe we can pull this over. Um, I don't know how this would work. Hmm. Actually, can we put push this down? Hmm. Okay, that's not gonna work. We need a way to. Oh wait. Oh, this thing consists like constantly switches. Okay, we can pass through that very easily. And now, there's a cutscene. In here, I found him. Wow, those bullies are terrible people. To the point where this kid is stuck here. You, how did you... Everything's gonna be okay. We're here to rescue you. What are you doing down there? You don't think something happened, do you? Maybe they ran into the Iron Dragon. May God have mercy on their souls. Don't say things like that. Some will make it out for sure. Besides, she's got Old Stash with her. We made it. Come on. Old Stash. And I'm guessing John might have this little character arc where he becomes like a like a father figure for Sam. That'll be really cool. Ta-da! Sam, you okay? What happened down there? B guys just took off like a light. Alright, so was there really an iron dragon in there? No, there was just a bunch of slugs and some weird snake plant things. Okay, so we got Daniel out, that's really nice. And I think that that's the end of this episode, I don't want to make this video too long, so... I'm just going to end the video over here. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. God bless.